you know that thing where you've like got something in the back of your throat you don't want to like cough or snort or anything because that would be impolite in a public space but like you still gotta do it that's me right now i'm i'm just sitting here like Ugh. there's something in the back of my throat Ugh. but it's fine um hopefully it's not COVID symptoms. I mean, I did have the two people in my house, so the it's fine. Anyways, hello, welcome to the stream. My name is Quimby. Um, I hope the day is going absolutely phenomenal for you. I hope the day, I hope the things are good and cool and chill and vibing. Um, uh, we're gonna be in my hardcore world today, gonna go to the nether and actually find a fortress. Um, this is gonna be probably the last day in 118 because... We've got Portal for the next two days after this, and then Saturday, if I haven't heard about anything terrible happening with the 119 update, then I think I'd be comfortable updating my world to it. So, kind of exciting. Kind of, kind of an interesting, interesting thing. Um, what, what's it gonna be? Did, did they actually change the Blaze spawn, something about Blaze rods and stuff in 119? Actually, I'm gonna look that up right now. I heard that, but I never actually, like, che fact-checked it. Um, Blaze, uh, one, uh, one, one, one dot nineteen Blaze, um, Blaze changes, I'll say. Cause is, is there actually, is there actually something? Is there something about it? Cause I, I heard, I heard it. Um, Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, that doesn't tell me anything. That was just a thing saying, please, 119. Cool. Okay, I found a thing talking about just like 119 in general. Um, it's like the change logs are available. Cool. What do you want from me? What, what do you, what do you want from me? Um, Achievements, new music, mobile touch controls, LA, boat and chest, deep dark, frog and tadpole, frog light block, goathorn, mangrove swamp, mangrove tree and wood, mud block, um, recovery compass, echo shards. Okay, um, that, is, that music is the sign that I should be getting started, but we're just going to turn on the other music and I'm going to continue to look at this change log to see if I can figure this all out. Skulk blocks, um, warden blocks. Um, fences and walls no longer connect to bells and brewing stands. Cool. Uh, fixed bugware, brewing stands, um, etc. etc. Mycelium, side texture matches, dirt-based textures, exploit blocks from being destroyable from within while underwater. Um, <laughs> mobs. Okay, it says fix an issue causing baby llamas to fire llama spit from above their head. So that's neat. Mirrored the spider's left legs. So, I'm not Oh wait, no, 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 that's wait, Shulker, Wandering Trader. Um. Oh, yo, Wandering Trader cannot be named with a name tag? Oh, it will not prevent it from despawning though. Whoops. Um, so I'm not actually seeing anything about blazes in here. I wonder who, what the person I heard it from was talking about. Huh, weird, odd. I mean, unless it's in the bug fixes. Um, items, maybe? No, still not seeing it. Weird. Weird. Okay, well, that's probably enough scrolling through 119 change logs. Let's go ahead and get into the game. All right, um, we'll get, we're gonna go ahead and switch the scene in three, two, one, and pop. Hello, um, we're not starting in F5 today because I realized I was just sort of doing a little wave and then continuing. Um, like, sure, I'm cute as heck, but I uh, don't know that we necessarily need to need to stick around there for too long. Um, well, uh, welcome back to my hardcore world. We've got Sir Jeffers, we've got Jimbo, my good little kitty cats, and I've got some things to do today. Now, I want to find a fortress, right? That's, like, my main goal for today is just to find a fortress. Um, now, see, that's tricky because um, fortresses are kind of terrible. Um, 
But what I'm thinking is that there's... I, I've explored most of, like, <clears throat> one specific direction. No, there. I've followed, like, one direction quite a ways. I think I need to start looking the other two ways. And that will require me to either tunnel through a wall or um, go into a basalt delta. Which neither, neither are really good options, but uh, oh well. I do want to start by healing up Shuffle, my, um, my shovel, because uh, Shuffle valiantly destroyed a lot of gravel for me yesterday, um, thus resulting in a tragic loss of durability. And as Shuffle's care caretaker, it's my responsibility to ensure that Shuffle is safe and happy and well. And so, you know, let's just, let's just get some XP for Shuffle. Now, um, I did use my only drinkable fire res potion yesterday to escape the tunnels of netherrack my uh, of netherite mining, uh, which is you know big big rip for me. So that means that if I want to have more more drinkable potions, I am going to need to trade for them. Luckily, I picked up a lot of gold uh, while I was out yesterday, so I can just probably like set up some trading with uh with le uh le, le pigmen the, the guys who are pigs you know the ones those those piggy guys they're pretty neat pretty cool kind of pop off a little bit um that does mean that we're probably going to have to make two nether trips one to start just with uh trading potions and then oh man no no, 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 not no durability. Yeah, well, I mean, not no durability, obviously, but like, wow, that, that's still a distance to go. Let's just let's just fill in this square here and see where that gets us. Um, yeah, so two another trips. One to go do some trading to get some fire res potions, especially you know, especially if I'm going to be heading into a basalt delta. I really want to be able to um not die to lava. Uh, then another trip to, you know, actually do do the full exploration looking for uh, the fortress type thing. Wow, I did not realize that this, um, that this perfectly made a 8 by 8 square. Wow, I... Huh. Past Quimby did some interesting architecture, which I am honestly here for. Thanks, Past Quimby. Um, I... Okay, listen. <laughs> I am going to re-break this so that I can have a, a perfect set. L listen, it's j it would just be cool. It would just be cool and neat and interesting. Okay, Sir Jeffers, you cannot walk in on top of blocks that I'm placing like that. Well, if I was placing gravel, well, if I was placing gravel, you would have you would have died, buddy. Uh, that's the wrong pickaxe. Forgot to change it back. Whoop. You know, I I'm. As, as much as I think it actually ended up being a worse inventory management decision to uh, turn black. Actually, no, no, no. I was doing my math wrong. So, I, mining a stack of quartz ore gave me like um, two and a bit stacks of quartz. And that actually means I did make a good inventory management decision to mine all of my quartz ore and then turn it into quartz blocks because uh, that that's about like two and a bit um with the with the quartz but the other but uh but, but but blocks take four so it would only have been a bad inventory management decision if i have if i had gotten four stacks of quartz from one stack of quartz ore oh goodness that is actually kind of relieving i was so worried and now i don't need to be worried anymore wow um, side news, uh, we, I might take a day next week to just make, like, a separate world in hard mode, like, not hardcore, um, to just, oh, didn't notice that, uh, finished healing the things, that's cool. Um, just to test, like, fights and stuff, because, if I'm gonna be honest, there's a lot of things that I haven't really fought a ton in Minecraft. Um, you know, I've, I've fought some things several times, but certainly not most things. Let me just whoop. See, I fought some things, definitely not most things like the Ender Dragon. Multiple times I fought the Ender Dragon exactly once. Um, which means that if I 
am not careful going into fighting in my hardcore world, uh, things could be really problematic for me. So it's probably just gonna be like I make a basic like hard mode world, cheat enabled because I don't want to have to grind for everything, and then just like equip myself like how I have, you know, like how my armor is here, and then just practice fighting. <clears throat> I'm thinking we do like ocean monuments, we do like the end, um, we do we do various other things. I'm out here because I want to make some um, some golden apples because I've got nine, and that's probably, you know, I'm probably not going to use nine, but if I'm, but fortresses are scary. One of the, one of the few times I've died in Mayor's Paradise was due to uh, a fortress, so I just want to be really, really cautious with it. Let me, um, let, let me just take a quick respite for sleeping purposes, considering that, uh, Yep, considering that it's sleepy time. Mmm, sleepy time. Love me some sleepy time. Alright, and... Yeah, that used up a stack of the gold I've got. I need to make sure to leave some for in the nether. There was something else I was planning on doing while I was up here, but I think at this point, actually, it, it makes more sense to just head to the nether and start, um, start trading for some fire res. So let's just... Here, I'm gonna leave my cats here because, you know, they're little punks who will fall in lava. They they just will. No, I don't want to. I want that. That's what I want. That's what I want. All right. And anything else you need? I've got copious amounts of gold. I've got some uh, cobblestone. Oh, I need flint and steel. Um, I might grab a bit more gold. Just cause, yeah. Yeah. You know, you know those. I'll grab one singular gold because I don't want to break any of my blocks. Um, y you know those, th those traders. They they don't like to trade things. Let's see anything else. No, this is looking pretty good. This is looking pretty decent. All right. So, um, at some point I really should get some name tags and make, like, an actual, like, trading area with some piglins that will stick around instead of despawn, but that is very much so a future Quimby thing when I, you know, actually have a good foothold in the nether. Oh, okay, so I know what I was thinking I was missing. When I eventually go for, like, the actual fortress finding trip, um, I want to bring some obsidian with me so that once I find the fortress, I can just make a portal there and then make my way back in the overworld. Because as much as travel is faster in the nether, um, travel is also much more dangerous in the nether. So I figure just, why not, um, just, just take it a little bit easy, uh, take the overworld route and not have to worry about falling in lava every single second. Obviously falling in lava is still a concern, but it's like less of a concern. All right, so welcome back to the nether. Um, I gotta find some boyos, some pig boyos. Some pig boyos who would not mind being trapped in a hole and given gold for a while. I am thinking about traveling out over that way once I actually get my things. Uh, I've kind of been treating it as intraversible, but you know, ever since block, you know, having to dig out and find my way in the basalt delta last time, I think I could make it uh, if I had fire res. Oh, I really should have brought. Oh, I should brought my splash potion of fire res. I don't have. It's not great for many things, but it sure would be good for um, this. I don't think any pigmen are still there. That's where my last little trading hole was. So let's just go over here a little bit, see if we can't find anyone. I mean, I could go to the bastion over here, uh, but I haven't actually fully... Oh my gosh, where are all the piglins? Where are they? Where are they? What? 
Where are all the guys? Where did they go? Where are the guys and what have they- what has been done to them? I- I cannot believe that the guys are- are so- so missing. Gosh, I need to explore that. I mean, like 20 minutes, but hey, there's still 20 more- that's still 20 more minutes of could be. Hi, hi, please. Welcome to the stream. I am currently looking for some piglins to trade with and not having a ton of luck. Yeah, just where- where are they? Where are all of the guys? I hope you're doing well. I am confused. It's like I, I told the universe, yeah, I'm gonna go looking, I'm gonna try and trade with some piglins today. And the nether went, oh really? That's interesting. How will you trade with piglins when there are none? <laughs> and then I cried. Cause like, seriously, where are they? There's usually at least some wandering around at this spot. Oh, there's one. There's one singular guy. Excuse me, uh, excuse me, guy. Would you like to, um, would you like to be trapped in a hole and given gold for a while? I promise it's a good, uh, I promise it's a good opportunity. Okay, ready? Okay, all right, all right, all right. Oh, hey, friend. Um, let's just let's just try this. Ready? There we are. Now I've got two guys. And um, this is not the safest location for me to be. I'd love to maybe like dig. Maybe I should dig a little hole down next to them so that I can, you know. So that I can toss some go some gold through, and you know, let them let them peruse my wares. They're scared of pigments. So if pigment around, they will flee. Ah oh, man, well why did why did the pigment decide to show up then? That's so cringe. That's so rude. Do they not know that I personally need need the supplies that they can provide? Let me just let me just keep tossing some gold at them. If I stay down at this level and don't give them a way to fall down into here, then this actually works decently well. Grab some gold, friends. Grab some gold. Give me some, give me a potion, please. Yeah. So essentially, the plan is um, hang out here for a while, trade until I get you know at least another splash potion, uh, not splash potion, not splash potion of, um, of fire resistance. And then, uh, and, 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 and then, you know, we go. And then, and then we go look for fortress. Come on, you guys got this. There's a gas somewhere, but we are underground, so it's fine. We are underground, so this is A-OK. -okay. I'm trying to stay far back enough that they aren't gonna- that, you know, the gold isn't gonna try and come back to me, but... It is tricky sometimes. Come on. You can do it. Just- just a little bit of fire res, you know? Just- just a little bit of fire res will do. Just- just a little bit. What is your gold trade? Fire resistance. I'm going fortress hunting, and um, I'm going to be moving through basalt delta, so fire is potions are prefer preferable, preferred, ideal, yes. I am, I've got like, a st I, I had almost two stacks of gold, I expect it will take all of it to get even one potion. So, yep. Oh, come on. I wish I could just kill the guy, but, but I know that that is not possible. Yeah, you guys, you guys are messing with my, you guys are messing with my, with my trading fellers. 
Do I see the ghast anywhere? Okay, let's let's just do a, a do a little bit of damage control. Just just a, just a little bit of damage control, because now they are afraid. How did you get over here? Oh my gosh, why? This is so far from the crimson- oh my gosh, okay. Well, anyway, at the very least, no more zombies will rain on my parade. We've got like three of them in there, but oh uh, well. Yeah, I fully, I fully expect this to take all of the gold that I have, and maybe even a little bit more to get this. Yeah, maybe I should block my, like myself in too, um, just so that like, no more surprise, uh, hoglins. Come on, guys, you can do it. You can do it. Come on, you can do it. You can give me the potions. This will- <laughs> maybe I should start threatening them. Maybe I should be like, this all could be over. You could leave the area that these- that these zombies are in if you just gave me what I wanted. If you're, if you're just willing to, uh, to provide me with what I desire, this could all be over with. Um, hi, Shardstone. I can't really chat if I want to say hi. Hello. I also would like to say hello. I am currently doing my best to negotiate with- uh, with these guys. They're not seeming to want to negotiate very much, but, you know, I'm sure I can reason with them eventually. Yeah, uh, Piglin trading is kind of... kind of the worst, honestly. Like, just, just thinking about it, this is kind of terrible. This is kind of a big problem. Like, Huh. It takes so much resources and you get so much just like useless stuff from it. The, the chance of getting good things is so astronomically low. Although I will admit, so one time um, in Mayor's Paradise I did need Crying Obsidian for a build. And so I did just go to the nether and trade with, um, trade with piglins a ton until I had enough Crying Obsidian for it because, you know. I'm eating that to your time. I think I'm stressed. So thank you for the vibes. Oh, no problem. I'm sorry that the meeting is stressful. I believe in you. I think you're gonna do great at the meeting. Don't know what the meeting's about, so... Maybe you don't want to do great at the meeting? Maybe it's a meeting of, like, you know, whoever, whoever takes the wrong donut gets richly sacrificed? If that's the case, I would really recommend looking into a different place of employment. Uh, cause ritual sacrifice, while a strong business tradition, is generally, generally not advised these days. It just has a really bad effect on morale, and also like, that means that turnover is really fast, so you have to constantly be hiring. Um, I, I personally think it's just not worth it. Watch this, there's like a fire as potion dropped down into the hole over there and I just can't tell because, you know, because it's just, the, the guys are in there. The guys are in there, you know, that that's all. Come on, fellas. Hey, you wanna, wanna, okay, I will, I will take ender pearls actually. Let me just eat those water bottles. <laughs> Demonic places of work. Yeah, I'm playing my future. It's just always nice. Okay, yeah, we okay. We do we do like a future planning meeting. I'm glad that you're not um, working for a demonic entity of some sort, because that would be that would just be kind of kind of sad. You know, d you would think that a gosh, now I'm imagining like a demonic entity that's just like a business, but they like and they like pay minimum wage. And the break room has like coffee, um, like like a coffee machine that always gives like really stale, tasteless coffee, and it's like, yep, welcome to welcome to actual hell, which is just, you know, corporate America. 
Yeah, it's also hard to keep stocked if I, I do concur. Yeah. What are the downsides of working with such a precious commodity? Okay, but like if I could get a single fire res potion out of this, that would be great. No, just just like just like one. Just like one fire is. <laughs> Say coffee again? You gotta get your coffee. You get your coffee and then you and then you go back to work and it doesn't really help much, but you know it's it's a little bit better than some things. Keep you going through the day if you know what I mean. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. Just give me the dang fire res. Just just just, just give. Give plus give. And there's a ghast. Hi, that's me. I bet you're wondering how I got here. Well, it all started when I decided that I wanted to go to the nether to find a fortress but I needed fire res to get going. It's not easy being a hardcore player who decides to branch out into the nether, but you know, times are tough. I gotta get why I can. Now, see these guys. These are my coworkers, and they are they're they're fun sometimes. You know, we when we hang out on weekends, they're they're pretty neat. But uh, generally, they're pretty terrible. Um, they've got this obsession with gold, and uh, it seems like I can't go a step without running into one of them. At the moment, trying to work through a deal for some fire res, you know, uh, just a little something to help me get through to actually make it to the fortress, but I don't know. Again, these guys are, these guys are kind of the worst. Very, very non-cooperative. Just give me the dang fire res. I promise it will all be okay as long as I get the fire res. Please. Please. This is fine. It's it's fine. It's fine. No no problems. Uh, I wish that they could give you blaze powder, cause, gosh, if I if I could just get blaze powder, I'd be all right. I've got magma cream. I could make my own fire res. All right. Well. Yep. This. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna need more gold don't have any on me so this is again really really awkward really unfortunate please just what 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 if they dropped a bottle but not the right thing in it okay well uh, all right all right all right let's let's let y'all out I'll walk through here to pick up anything that uh, Anything that you dropped that I have inventory space for. Um, yeah, this is fine. I'll just, I'll just head to the overworld, pick up some more gold, and then, you know, and then, and then we'll get going from there. Just find a good way down. Gotta be so careful. One sec, one sec. Heard a gas, heard a gas, heard a gas. There's an Enderman over there. What? What are they all doing? What? Is, what is happening here? You know, all this. Oh gosh. It almost makes me want to go without fire res, but I definitely don't want to go without fire res. So. Turns out we are making three nether trips. Um, no, at least. Cause no, we, I still gotta, I gotta do another round of trading now. Woo, 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 woo. Warp forest nearby? Maybe, I mean, uh, that, the warp forest that I know of is pretty far away, but I haven't explored some of the directions nearby because, um, Cause, cause they're, cause they're, they're pretty rough. 
you know? Yeah. It's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you, you, you're right, Shardspoon. You're right. That, yep, that is pretty much exactly what happened there. Okay, I don't know how late it was, so let's just do a quick little creeper check. A quick little, aw, man. Okay. I'm not seeing anything. Cool, 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 great, awesome, cool, awesome. Yes, 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 for sure. Does power doesn't extinguish fire? Uh, there could be a strat that doesn't need fire to rise. Well, if I fall into lava is the main concern. If I fall into lava, I would, I would, I would love to have, you know, some, some fire res on hand. Let's see, what do I want to drop in here? Yes, that's what I want to drop in here. The quartz gets turned into blocks by yours truly. Um, ender pearls go in there. And then quartz is in there. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's one of those moments where uh, rip rip to rip to wanting safety and all that that wanting safety sounds kind of cringe says the nether and let's get some iron blocks going exactly three iron blocks my favorite um oh i've got the soul speed three book that's gonna go in in there leather goes in there um I'll empty out most of the string. I'll keep like one so that, you know, it has a space in the inventory, but um, yee, 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 yee. Have I been putting spectral arrows anywhere? Okay, I have. Here, let's just top that off. Because um, I do like spectral arrows. I will, I will accept them. Let's just take like another two stacks. I let's just take another two stacks, you know. Okay, that it's not a good amount, but it's like an amount. It's definitely an amount. Let's um let's try this again. Let's let's see what we've got. I don't think my guys will still still be there. I think just leaving the Nether already extinguishes the possibility of them still hanging around, but we will check. You know, because maybe... I don't know. Oh, I did let them out. That was foolish. Why did I let them out? Why did I, why did I let them escape? These are the questions that we ask ourselves. Boop, boop, boop. I should really make this path a little bit safer. That, that was like an emergency path when I first did it. It's like, I just need to get to the ground. Let me just, you know, make a thing. But uh, I could do so much better for myself now. Oh, it's a guy. Oh, that guy has run away from me. Understandable, King. Understandable. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, not, not seeing the guys. Not seeing the guys, so big rip. I mean, there is there is a guy there, but I don't think it's like you know the guys. All well, that stuff is still there. I'm not gonna pick it up though. Well, again, uh, time to time to find some new guys. Cool, 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 cool. So my my favorite thing to do in a day is just. You know, find find new guys constantly. Oh my gosh, I am the one with the and I am I am like unto um you know hell office with the fast turnover and the the constant need to find new souls to reap. Oh my gosh, I'm in constant need of, of new piglins to um to imprison and attempt trades with. Wow, that's different. That's new and different and interesting. Okay, let's just see if there are any guys over here. Because you never know, maybe there's some guys over here. 
uh, my life motto. You never know if there's guys over here unless you look for guys over here. It unfortunately, it doesn't look like there are guys over there. I could go a bit closer to check, just on the off chance that they haven't, like, rendered in. But no, it looks like there's just no guys here. So. Big rip. Big rip to me. Um... I could, again, try the Bastion, but I don't necessarily trust that because I don't know that I've emptied it of brutes and I don't want to fight a brute today. I will say no thank you. That's a gas. Let's see if I can get out of render distance and just take care of it that way. Be gone, ghast! Be gone, foul beast! Return to the depths from which ye came! Be gone! Be gone! Get out of here! Go, get out! Okay, let's try that. Okay. Okay. I mean, I'm not seeing the ghast. I think there's some guys down at the bottom there. That looks like it might be kind of a dangerous spot to try and, you know, pit them, but... But maybe, perhaps... Why is it- why is it so difficult to find the guys? Have the guys considered simply being accessible? Simply- simply being easy to find and easy to work with? I think that they are causing many problems for me, the consumer. Therefore, I expect a discount when I actually find one to, um, to do business with. Oh, hello! Here, can I- Come with me, friend. Come with me. Come with me over here. Come over here. Come on. What? What? Um. You know what? Uh. You, you know, you know what? Oh, the guy got out. I was like, oh man, if he's stuck on there, I may as well just like make a thing, but the guy got out. So, big rip. No, just, just go back in, just. Oh my gosh, look, gold. <sighs> this guy, this guy. That ball was hilarious, yeah. The guy, the guy really just fell. Alright, go down there. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, 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 okay. We set up a spot. We set up a, we set up a little, a little spot. Oh, I forgot to, I forgot to, um, forgot to sealing this guy so that, uh, so that nothing else comes in. Sure, this means I won't have as many guys, but, um, but listen, I just, I, I, I just need. All right, get started, get going, get going, trade the gold, do the things. Gosh, I do wish I could get another guy in here. Do you think I could lure another guy in here? Do you think I could convince another guy to, uh, to come over here and get in the hole? Hmm. Cause I saw another guy, like over there somewhere. Here, let me just um, on, let me just leave you with some stuff while I'm gone. Okay, let's let's begin operation. Can I get the guy to uh to come over here? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Hey, friend. Whoop! Where? Okay, this is fine. Alright. Go over this way. Wait, where did where did the guy go? 
Guy! Guy! Come, come back over here, guy! Come over here? Come on! Oh my gosh, this guy! Where- You know what? No, no, no. No, no, no. I hear gas noises. This is dangerous. We're just gonna- We're just gonna suck it up, buttercup, and just have the one guy. If you take up your helmet, I'll change it by mean danger. Yeah. I mean, fair- Fair. Fair strat, but like... I don't know. I'm just- uh, I'm- I'm very worried about the gas noises. And yeah, danger. Are you soul speed too? Oh, cool. Come on, friend. You got this. I believe in you. I believe in this random guy. Oh, I got an obsidian. I believe in this random guy. This random guy is gonna give me everything I want. This random guy knows what I'm looking for and has definitely signed an agreement to make sure that I get it. Ooh, good thing I was distracted by gold there. This guy knows the market value of gold and is gonna provide, uh, provide resources equal to or greater than the value of it. This guy, this guy's gonna do it. This guy's gonna do it. This guy's gonna, gonna give me what I want. This guy. I believe- I believe in this guy in particular. This one guy. This- this one guy knows what it's about. This one guy. He's got it. I believe so much. I believe so much in this guy in particular. This guy's got it! He, he has, in fact, the gold that I am, um, supplying him with for purposes of trading. That's what he's got. That's what he's got. Yeah, let's just do a little... Let's just make a little, a, a little, a little area that I can walk around in. This full of anxiety uh, is going to stare at our wall and try to think of the possibilities of the meeting. Good luck with the fire rise. Awesome. Uh, good luck with the meeting. I believe in you. You can do it. You can do it! You can do it! Um, but yeah, don't... I mean, listen, listen I, I know that saying, like, don't be too anxious is, like, nothing, but, like, I don't know, I just... I, I just think you got this. I think it's gonna be great. I am... I'm... I'm just so ready for this guy to um to follow through on the terms of our agreement. But yes, big waves. Good big big waves goodbye. Many I, I'm I'm waving. You can't tell, but I'm I'm waving. I'm I don't think I can wave my hand enough that you know that that um that like the sound can be heard or whatever, but but if but if it could, then that's what would be heard right there. Got some spectral arrows. That's cool. Love me arrows. Huh! Huh, huh, huh. Oh heck yes. See what did I tell you? What did I tell you? This guy knows the market value of of some gold. This guy's gonna. This guy. This fellow. This this good sir. This this good sir is a, is a, a a giant among pigmen. I wish I had a name tag so I could. Because this is actually a really good trading setup. Like, sure, it's only one guy, and it would probably be better to have more, but, like, the way that this area is set up is really nice. I do want to see if I can get one more. You know, I, I brought all this gold with me. I may as well... Uh, may, I may as well put it to use, but... Um, take the gold, sir. Take the gold, sir. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, but you know, you know, I may as well, at the very least, finish out this stack. You got this. I believe in you. You can do it. You can make things happen. 
you got it. I am picking up Crying Obsidian because, you know, I actually think it's a really pretty block. And um, if I ever want in the future, then, you know, I may as well start stockpiling it. Uh, uh, I hate casts. I hate gas. I hate gas so much. I wish that gas would simply not have gas ever considered not being the worst. I think they should consider that I personally disagree with many of their actions on a moral basis. Let's just pick up some iron. That's a decent amount of iron to pick up. You know, I'm not in it for the iron, but I will admit, that's a decent amount of iron. Take the gold. Take it. Take it and, I don't know, give me fire res in return. Because one fire, one fire res potion, kind of, kind of neat. Two fire res potions? Now we're talking. Picklin dies, is what I just heard outside. I hope they're all right out there. I hope they're doing okay. Are, pl excuse me. Are you okay? Whoa. Okay, so it's a splash potion, which is, you know, not ideal, but that does mean that I will have two splash potions and one drinkable potion. So that's, that's like one time falling in lava and two times like being caught on fire or something. I don't know. Because the trouble with the splash potions is, is that they're only effective if I can, um, if I can splash them against something. So if I fall into lava and it's, there isn't like a clear wall nearby, then I won't be able to make use of it. I'm late every day. That's all right. I am too. No, I will not elaborate on that statement. It's just the way of things. I am currently on the hunt for fire res. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen someday. I, I've got I've got two of them. I would love to have at least three. I'd love to have a bit more, but you know we're we're working with what we've got. I'm finishing out this stack because you know may as well. But uh, poglon, exactly. That's exactly how it is. Just simply Poglun. Poglun. Poglunium. Is there anything that I don't want in exchange for that? Um, what is it? The spectral arrows. I mean, maybe the gold eventually. Maybe once I run out of gold, I'll fill that inventory slot with um, spectral arrows. Yeah, so this guy's actually been like the best trading partner that I've had. Um, the, the the entire time, like ever, this this one guy has given me two fire res potions, which is a significantly greater portion than any other picklin has given me. Unfortunately, I don't have a name tag, so as soon as I exit the Nether to put all this stuff away, I will unfortunately lose him. So that's cool. Here, let's um. Yeah, there we are. That's what we're looking for. Spectral arrows. Okay. Uh, is two fire res potions enough? Uh, the, the simple solution is I just need to actually find a fortress and I can make unlimited um, potions. So I'm going to join the stream on my quest too in a minute. Okay, awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Good luck. Um... We're gonna say that it's enough. You know what? Uh, as much as I dislike the idea of taking any risks in hardcore ever, I think this is a moment that we just we take the risk of having uh, saying that that's enough, and and then we go. I do kind of want to see if I can. Uh, no, if I make a name tag for the guy, and then and then. Uh, and then, and then the guys despawned by the time I'm back, then that would just be a waste of emeralds and levels. I don't know, I don't know. Because I can lie in bed? Ah, yes. Very good choice. 
Oh, I, I don't know how- I don't know how the spawning and despawning rules work. Does the guy just despawn, like, the moment I exit the nether? Because I am exiting the nether. Because my inventory needs to be emptied. But, like... Huh. I, I sort I sort of want to make a name tag. Be, and see if I can find the guy. It's a bad decision. I know it's a bad decision, but, like... Hmm. Let's see what else I have that needs to go in here. That. This. Okay, well, um. This should go in the quartz box for sure. Uh. That just barely fits in there. Spectral arrows can be moved. This should be in the crimson box. Okay, okay, okay. My space management is terrible, but whatever, it's fine. It's it's fine. It's ju it's just simply fine. All right, then string, um, gravel, iron, and the soul speed soul speed two book. Um, quartz goes in the quartz box, which actually I can just turn that to quartz blocks. I'll mine that out in a sec. No, I can mine out right now. It's only four quartz ore. That's not a huge deal. Alright. Yep, yeah, no, 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 I don't don't care anymore. Don't care. Nope, 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 nope. Um I do I'll I'll bring gold with me just in case I really need something in the nether. That's gonna be like my little emergency stash. And then let's rearrange some things I'm gonna pick up more obsidian so that I can make a portal once we get to the fortress um, I probably don't need all these spectral arrows on me I should I should just put them somewhere I'll put them in my little equipment locker in my temporary housing because that sounds like a good plan Yeah, I've got I've got 64 normal arrows. These I don't think spectral arrows do any more damage. So it's fine. Um Alright, alright, alright. Then I wanna turn about half of my iron into blocks again. Because I don't you know, again, just in case I uh, need some space there or something. I don't know. That just feels like a good thing to do. Okay, iron blocks go in there. And then <clears throat> I want some more cobblestone. Let's uh a full stack might be enough. I am going to bring two stacks actually, because you never know. You never know what you're gonna need in the nether. And then also just gonna bring uh bring bring like twelve obsidian. I don't know if twelve is not. Can you call me I'm on, I'm on my quest now? Heck yeah. I will admit my first reaction was to go, a quest? What's your quest for? But, um, okay, I'm actually going to change some things. We're going to do that. And then that. Okay, that's going to be the new inventory space. Let's put this. I've got potion of fires, my axe and sword out. Um, we've got torches for if I need to find my way. Um, my staple golden, golden apples and state, you know, staple, uh, golden apple would also be something to help me if I fall into lava. So, yeah. I also need my other potion of fire res. Again, two of them being splash pot potions isn't great, but, you know, it's, it's fine, it's fine. And alright, so now that... Gosh, that took longer than I expected. Now that the um, fire res has been acquired, it's time to actually get in business. So I'm going to be exploring the basalt delta today. I've been calling it like an introversible section, but I honestly don't think it is. And I, I like that better than digging through the wall or um, bridging th over lava, so that's going to be the next direction. 
I just need to kind of figure out like where I where, where I ended up yesterday after my netherite mining expedition because that was pretty important alternatively it did look like there might be more of a way down over here in this area that I've kind of been ignoring so let's just take a look at what we've got Well, that's not exactly what I'm looking for. The ground connects to the basalt delta in a lower area. I just I just need to get there. Okay. New thoughts. I am going to head down over by my staircase. And we're going to use that as the marker because finding my staircase was a pretty important moment yesterday on my way back. So theoretically, I should be able to get back to where I'm going from the staircase if I can just map my route correctly. Okay, yeah, because I came this way. Um, and I remember I, I popped out somewhere over here, didn't I? I came up in this section and I was like, where am I? What is this place? I remember going through that tunnel there and being like, oh, what's that? Where am I? Okay. Um, I might be able to go down somewhere over here. Let's try this out. I am gonna leave some torches so that I can Okay, all right, there's a little cobblestone area there. That's a good sign, actually. Okay. Follow this down. Okay, okay, okay. This is very treacherous. I wish to make it a little bit less treacherous. Alright. Little little cobblestone box that I made. As I was trying to figure out my pathing. Alright, this is where I bridged. Alright, okay, okay, okay. This is familiar. That's good, that's good. Gotta be careful because I'm so close to the lava. Ooh. That's a hazard. Let's cover that up. Okay. Where did. I seem to have dug up from there, but did I. Did I come up through here? Yes, I did. Alright, well, I really wish that this bridge had been made out of cobblestone. That would have made me feel much better about using it. But, you know, that's alright. Oh, gosh. Uh, I hate this, I hate that. Okay. Yeah, this area is technically traversable, probably. Dangerous as heck, but, you know, traversable. Because basalt usually is only one block deep with the lava. Oh, I do not trust. I do not trust the gravel. Let's instead. This is why I brought two stacks of um, of cobblestone. Okay. I kind of want to get to that area over there because that looks like more of an actual, like, place. Okay, let's just carefully go across. Okay, there's a magma cube, but it's all the way over there. Um, if this does actually take me to a fortress, 
I am very much so going to want to make this route so much safer eventually. Because, um, magma cubes are one of the biggest causes of death. You know? Just, just in general, magma cubes are a big cause of death. Okay. Um, at this point, let's see if we can start staircasing up. I want to be real careful with lava. Let's just make a little make a little safety net. I'm using so much cobblestone already. Gosh, I hate magma cubes. Oh, there's one right there. There's one right there. Let's just, um... Let's just ignore that. Let's just get away. <sighs> okay, I actually... I think I need to take a breather. <sighs> okay. That was... That was stressful. That was really stressful. Like, I, I know I wasn't actually in any danger, but just... The salt deltas freak me out. The other base when? Um, gosh, when I can... When I can? You know? When I can figure it out. When I can, um, you know, make, make a good spot for it. Here, I'm gonna drink some water. Mmm, water. Yeah, um, me, I might make another base close to fortress when I find it because you know that would be that would be pretty nice and important and necessary I think okay um I am gonna take my coordinates like right here can I still see that okay just so that I can make my way back over to um just so I can make my way back over to my bridges once I you know, decide to come back. Let's just call it the salt bridges. Um, that we are at negative 60, comma, 41, comma, it looks like 112. Let me just check. Eh, you know, 112 isn't that far from 117. That's all right. All right. So that's cool, that's great. Hmm. I kind of want to turn my render distance up higher, but I don't know that that would help very much. Ooh. Hi Lord! Welcome to the stream! Um, here, I should leave- I should leave myself a little- a, a little breadcrumbs trail. Okay. We consume food, and we continue. I feel dead. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a big unfortunate. Anything in particular, or just like life stuff? You know, just just general existence. Because I've I've had it either way. Still no sign of fortress, but that's all right because this is a big open expanse. Whoop! Whew! We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, got him. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We got him. It's fine. It's great. We got him. This is okay. Whew! Oh, thanks, uh, thank, thanks, Lord. Um, there's a lot of dirt again. A lot of dirt. Ooh. Dirt movement. Um, I have an 89 inch TV screen in VR. Oh, wow. That's pretty Lord. Return to Sender Advancement? Uh, not right now. Wait. Is that. 
Is that what I think it is? Oh my gosh! Wait, it was here the entire time? Wait, hold on, because this is- This is so close. I was expecting to travel much farther than this. Oh, hello. He hello, fortress. You are much more convenient than I thought that you would be. Huh. Here, let's just get the achie- the, uh, uh, yep, a terrible fortress. Wow. Now I perish, yep. Have I redeemed slash killed you died in Minecraft? Nope, slash kill doesn't apply to me. Uh, it only applies to other things, like creatures. I'm watching this stream on the right. Nice. Pog champ. Sad. I don't understand why everyone's so obsessed with, like, having me die with the with the slash kill thing. Like, I just, what what's up with that? Here, I know I don't need to take the coordinates for this, but I am going to take the coordinates. Fortress. We are at negative one seventy eight, comma sixty seven, comma negative fifty. All right. Let me see the Wheel of Rewards. Um, the Wheel of Rewards is just like all the other rewards mostly. It's it's just simply a way for if you have a high n number of channel points um, it, to spend a lot of channel points. Because I'm bad at thinking of things that um, that are that are good rewards for that. Okay. Here's what you're going to do. I don't want to spend a ton of time here. I also don't want to get got by a wither skeleton. So we're just going to explore a little bit. Ooh, we, there's a soul sand valley here, which is great. That is cool, but that does mean that there's probably going to be a good amount of wither skeletons spawning in this fortress. Okay, there's a blaze there. Just want like a few blaze rods is all. Come here. Come on. Oh, come on. It's no fun if you go up that high. Yeah, come on. A little bit lower. Ooh. That was dangerous. I should not have done that. That was that was pretty dangerous. Didn't get blaze rod out of it either. We good. We good. We vibin', we chillin'. This is okay. This is okay. Uh, point space reveal? Nope, not gonna happen. All right. Gosh, I, oh, yep, see, weather skeleton. It's like three weather skeletons. I guess if I ever want to spawn the weather, then I'm in luck, but, um,. For literally anything ripped to me. For literally anything else ripped to me. I just want like some blaze rods so that I can start making potions is all. You know? Not planning on going to the end quite yet. But, you know. Oh, there's the ghast. But I, I just want to make some potions is all. a lot of wither skeletons. Welcome to Soul Sand Valleys! Soul Sand Valleys say, hello, we are the worst. Okay. Let's see if I can... Oh, got him. Cool. Got him. Um... Hmm. Okay, so there's some blazes over there, which is pretty neat and cool. Don't quite want to make my way over there yet. It's just a... Uh... Oh, come on. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna... Hmm. Not gonna go there quite yet. Is there? Are these? Is there, is there way inside? Oh, hello. 
You are actually exactly what I want. I went for a crit, did not make the crit. Oh, come on. Yep, there we go. Hey, there we go. All right, all right, we got one blaze rod. I, that will get me like one round of potions. Oh my gosh, what is with it? What is with the gas in this area? What is with it? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'd like to maybe get like at least one more blaze rod. I guess, you know, like, like, like at least one more blaze rod sounds good. And then after that, I'm going to make a portal and get out of here because I get the feeling if I stay here for much longer, I'm going to start making bad decisions. And if I start making bad decisions, I am going to perish. Okay. Like this guy. This guy's going to perish. Like that. Whew. I'll be careful of that pigman over there. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. I have a tip, don't wait for them. Hmm? Like, don't wait for blazes to spawn, or what? Because I'm mostly at the moment just trying to figure out a way over into this other section of the fortress. It looks like the best way might be, might be to go back over to here and then go down and enter it from the wastes. But did, oh, does this not connect? Don't wait for the attack. I I think you underestimate the um the power of fear that they hold over me. That's I was like, is that too many sticks? No, it's the right amount of sticks. I'm gonna get yoinked while I'm just standing here making torches. Okay, it looks like if I go over here. sure to light the area up. I don't need two torches here. Should light the area up. So hopefully some spawning is inhibited. You're being so careful. You're being so cautious. We are making no sudden movements. Okay, 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 okay. This is it, this is it, this is it. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Here, O'Brien. Yes. This is fine. 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 I've got food. We are good. This is fine. This is fine. See, it's, it's so totally okay. Guests. Cool, 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 cool. Awesome, lovely, amazing, cool. Cool. Got a little enclosed area. Let's um, let's take a breather. You know, let's let's just take a second. Herb rind. Herb rind. Me when me when herbs and rinds just herb rind. I'm gonna drink some water. I'm uh, I'm gonna drink some water. It's water consuming time. Mm, water has been consumed. Whew. We're good. We're good. We're good. I, hold on, I just came to a realization. So the fortress is at like negative one seventy eight fifty. If I make a portal here, I'm gonna be at like 20, 20 uh, 26 is going to be my coordinates, uh, which is pretty close to my other portal, and I hope that they're not going to connect. All 
All right, this is gonna be my safe room. That's gonna be where we go back to in case of emergency. Oh, there was a staircase down here and I just didn't notice it. Well, that's embarrassing. That is, that is really embarrassing. I think it might be worth it. See, ready? This way. This way I don't have to worry about getting hit. Oh, there are two blazes down there. Um, whoa, whoa. I was just standing there like a like a very silly person. Okay, here's what we're going to do. You know, let's just uh Okay. Okay. so close to me just simply stop being close to me I'm, I'm uncomfortable with that I want to see if I can lure this guy oh, that's probably fine Whoo! okay close one close one there I've got four blaze rods four blaze rods you know what that fills my quota um that, that, that's enough that's good that's great that's yep that's where we're going to leave that little quest And we build a we we build a portal so that I can just come out here whenever I need to. Start using voice messaging so my messages may be more grammatically correct. Oh, pog. Grammar. Big grammar moment. Okay, um do I actually do I have enough? I've got enough cobblestone on me to make a room. I'm gonna make myself a little room. It's going to be very small. Just, just enough for a portal. And I will, I will spawn proof it when I have the chance. Okay, this isn't actually gonna fully make a room, but I'll get the start of a room. You know, like a, just, just a little safe space for it. Actually, um, let's make sure to... Uh, okay, I'll build the portal frame and then I'll build a roof. Oh, I'm okay, it wasn't terrible, the meeting is over, but I've immediately forgotten every task I was asked to do in the meeting. Yeah. The fire res go, looks like you found the fortress. Yeah, so I end up getting a one drinkable bottle of fire res and another splash bottle. Um, haven't used any of them yet, but yes, fortress was found. It's pretty great, except for the fact that, um, that most of it is in a soul sand valley. <laughs> So, uh, so I spend half of the time looking out for wither skeletons and also ghasts because this universe hates me. Yep, yep, yep. Portal reference? Probably. I just kind of constantly make portal references. So I'm making myself just like a little, just a little box um, at the moment. To build a portal in so that I can just, you know, enter the nether right at the location of my portal. Alright, so that's our little frame. Dude, you have Soul Sand Fortress? That'll be so good endgame. I mean, yeah, for sure endgame it'll be pretty great when I can, you know, uh, someday I might like tear this whole thing down and turn it into a wither skeleton farm, but like... Oh, well, uh, that despawned right as I shot an arrow at it. Huh, well, um... So yeah, Endgame, the Endgame Quimby is, you know, popping off at the moment. Endgame Quimby is, like, vibing. Present day Quimby is, you know, still a little bit terrified. Let's just make some space there. 
Squither Wellitin. Mm, yes. And I'm just gonna leave that right there. This might eventually be double doors because, you know, I hate uh, asymmetrical things. Um, yeah, this is this is going to be a very basic portal space. It might get it might get changed eventually to be better, but um, you know, for the moment, I just need a little spot that I can safely enter and exit this portal. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, hmm. This is maybe a bit less than desirable. Where am I? Wait. Why did it... Why did it go so far? Hold on, why, why am I thousands of blocks away from... Huh? What just happened? Oh gosh, and there's a spider spawner. <sighs> well. Well. Wish I would bet. But like, why Why am I so far away? What? What? Because I was, I was not that far away at that portal. I was not that far away. I was like, I was probably too close to my other portal. What? Well, um, I mean, that's, that's not to say that I won't take these things. Um, I, I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I will, I will certainly take the things. Oh gosh, I gotta make a space in my inventory for three iron horse armors. What a cruel existence. Let's do that and then that. Cool, 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 cool. Listen, I'm I'm a I'm I'm a sucker for horse armor. It's armor for horses. How how do you expect me to compete with that? Emotionally. Right, um Okay, okay, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Um, name Spider? Spider is dead. Spider has perished. Spider is no longer with us. Okay, let's just... Let's just go through this thing again and see what happens. Minecraft! Hi, Air. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, big Minecraft moment. Okay. So my coordinates here... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, I did my math wrong because, um, no, this is what I expected because you don't subtract this. You Okay, so you don't divide this number, you multiply it by eight. Okay, no, okay, so we're actually fine. We're actually a-okay. I was really confused, but it's actually no problem. No problem here. Minecraft is my life. Mm, yes. Minecraft. Minecraft. Minecraft, Minecraft, and that's how I feel about that. Okay, so we're good. We're good. We're good. I understand what happened. This is okay. There are no problems here. I just need to now dig my way back up to the surface from like negative six, negative thirteen here. Oh, do I have any space in my inventory for deep slate? I'll get rid of the gunpowder because I like cobbled deep slate. Oh wait, no, I okay, no, no, actually this is fine. Actually this is fine. Um hmm. You know, actually I wanna go from like right here. I wanna go from like right here. Cause What? Oh, uh, cool. We're we're gonna pass by the spider spawner on our way. I was like, what? A place that I've already explored? No, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Actually, just on the off chance that this is gonna be an ocean, let me just make sure to put my torches not on the ground, where the water can do it. Um, hey, they're merging, I'm sure. Something, something, 119. Wait, sorry, what's merging? Uh, I, I, I may have missed part of this conversation. Now that I'm no longer in the nether, I am going to trade those things out. Minecraft. Backy-backy on computer, computer moment. 
big, big computer wants you to think. Listen, this is gonna get tedious, but um, I want the deep slate and I don't want the stone. talking about bedrock oh oh yeah bedrock it is gosh i would love if they merged i would actually be so excited because i don't know just imagine being able to play with people from the from, from both versions that just sounds pretty ideal that just sounds really really cool and neat and um and interesting and pog and just big friendship hours. Um, I wonder if I'm getting further away. Oh, yep, I'm, I'm definitely going further away from, um... I, I chose the wrong direction to go, but I'm this far in already, and I don't know that I want to change it. Oh, I probably should, just to make it a little bit easier on myself. There was that layers uh, from both builds, but imagine if every server could do that. You know, imagine if that was not just like a, like oh wow, this server is special and can do that. What if just like everyone could play Minecraft together? <laughs> that sounds an awful lot like world peace to me, if you ask. Bedrock skins may be coming to Java. Yo, what does world peace look like to you? Uh, when I think world peace, I think a. Uh, I think of Minecraft Bedrock, Minecraft Java players holding hands and singing as they play Minecraft. I believe that it is our destiny to someday, as Minecraft players, ascend and, uh, and find our place in this world. The maximum 2010 and only max after 2012 can run 119. I'm so mad. Ah, Big rip. Also, there is definitely water up here. Explosion. <laughs> Me just giving a dramatic speech and then suddenly... <clears throat> okay, what we're gonna do is we're going to preemptively do some damage control. We're gonna do that, and now when I break the water, this is gonna get moved up a notch. When I break things open and water spills out, um, the water will just pass through and go into this little this little thing right there. I should also make a door to make a proper entrance for here. I don't have the inventory space for a door. Although I could get rid of this blackstone. That blackstone was unimportant to me. Who needs blackstone? Certainly not me. Me eventually wanting to make something with blackstone and just crying. Okay. Let's just yeet the blackstone. And then... I also don't really need the, these planks now because, yep, they're just some planks. All right, so we've got we got doors. God, don't update the CSMP. I mean, I, I, if I'm gonna be real, um, was that supposed to be a southern accent? No, that was supposed to be just silly words. Um, any any accent that may or may not have actually that, that may or may not have sounded like um, is that's just me being silly. Okay, underwater cave. Um, you know what? I can I can work with this. I can actually I can actually work around this. Oop. Every day I hear otherworldly noise at my window, and I remember it's one of you on a motorcycle. Gosh, people on motorcycles are strange sometimes. I do not understand you, person on a motorcycle. I do not understand you. Just check, did I? Oh, this, I did not pre adequately prepare this area. Yeah, that's a big rip. That That is a big rip. But ultimately it's mostly fine, so we're okay. Yeah, so CSMP, I don't currently have plans to update because um, if I were to do that, then I would have to uh, pay more money for it. <laughs> And I like the CSMP, but I don't know that I'm willing to spend more money on it at the moment. So yeah, never never fear people who cannot play um, 
119, the CSMP is not currently scheduled to be updated. is terrible. It'll be over soon. I, I won't need to switch my pickaxes anymore very soon. Oh, come on. Come on. There, there we go. That's, there we are. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Jave Conson when every day I ask and every day I receive no answer. So sad. How do you do that? More money for an update in Zeki? Well, I mean, it makes sense because um, you know, if I'm not picking anything up, I don't need to change pickaxes. Uh, it, it makes sense because 118 is just so much more large than um, than you know any previous version. Y you know, in, in comparison, it, it just it requires so much more. Like more space, more time, more energy, etc, etc. So I'm- I- I understand. I don't- I'm not gonna do it, but I understand. Because 118 is a beast. Like, my- I've got- I've got pretty good specs for- for playing Minecraft purposes. And even- and when I load in new chunks, it still will, like, totally mess up my frame rate and stuff. 118 is just- uh, just a little bit of a monster. Welcome to my favorite Minecraft streamer because you're the only Minecraft streamer I watch. Aww. I win by default. That's all I've ever wanted is to win by default. Wow. This is a great day. I am I am so content with this outcome. This is this is just incredible. This is just everything I've ever wanted. Chat, I win by default. Can you believe it? <sighs> I'd like to thank the Academy. I'd like to thank, um, I'd, I'd like to thank everyone who's ever, um, who, who's ever existed. I'd like to thank my dog. I'd like to, um, make a, make a glorious monument to the, uh, to the pro progress of humanity among us. Mm, sus. I really want to play Among Us. I miss Among Us so much. I didn't get my fill of it back when it was like super popular because the group that I played with couldn't meet very often. So now I'm just... Okay, yep, 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 yep. That's what I thought would happen. And yep, ocean! All right, let's just quick... Um... Whoop. Do that, and then we're gonna do... Let, let me pick things up, please. And we're just gonna do a little... A little bit of that. So that this way... I can just... Oh! Oh, mistakes have been made. Oh, mistakes have been made. I'm like stream when... Gosh, when I've got people to play with. When will be caught ever know they're imposter? I I may be a little bit sus, this is true, but I would like to argue that, um, look over there! <laughs> oh my gosh, what just, what just happened? That's so crazy that we all just sort of collectively blinked. That's, that's so crazy. What, what just happened? Oh my gosh, that's so weird. Okay, here is what we do. We do it like that. We do it like that, and then I can jump out into the ocean. And then I can go down here. Ta-da! It makes sense. There's only one other person I watch on Twitch, and they're currently live, so I guess you won. I didn't even realize it. Quimby's now my favorite Twitch streamer. Yeah! I win! I win! Oh, this is a great day. This is... This is uh, I'd like I'd like to thank the Academy. I'd like to thank everyone who supported my journey um, all along. I'd like to uh, I'd I'd like to thank just the world. I watch small streamers. Jk. Ah. 
I've got a lot of like small streamer friends that I watch. And I try to tune it off and I will admit that I occasionally I occasionally watch larger streamers. I'm sorry. Um, I need to take the coordinates of this specific location. I I need these specific locations. Fortress, portal, entrance. We are at negative 1314 comma negative uh 382 cool 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 you're getting carried away again no no me getting carried away oh, i just pressed f3 twice me getting carried away don't know what you're talking about no clue what you're on about i would never get carried away all right well that was that, that, that was lovely that was a great little great little excursion i need to now make my way home which is gonna be this way cool 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 yeah i did my math wrong i was like wait did, did, oh, did, i forgot that you multiply nether coordinates by eight instead of dividing by eight so we're we're fine we're fine we're fine I guess I watch MCC when it's on. Does that count as watching more than one other streamer? Yeah, I, I see. No, I only watch Quimpy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I am the only streamer that has existed ever. Any other streamers that may claim that they exist, they are they are just simply not correct. Not that they're lying. You know, I'd I'd never accuse someone who's um you know, I, I'd never accuse them of actually like lying. I just I just think that's important that we acknowledge that they are just simply incorrect. You know, they just, they just do not know. They do not know what, what it is that, um, that they have done. So it turns out that this is maybe a bit of a long journey back. So I'm not sure how much we're going to use the, um, the, this portal very often. Like it's, it's really nice now for, you know, not having to, um, not having to walk back through the nether purposes. But in the future, maybe I'm just going to make the path actually in the nether a bit safer. Yeah, so again, I, I, I'm i not going to accuse people who say that they are streamers of lying. Um, and again, I'd, I'd never make fun of people who are just so absolutely wrong like that. They just don't know. They don't know what they've done. They're just, they, they're, they're little brains. They, they think that they know what's happening, but they just don't. So, you know... I think it's important that we remember just to n not not say anything mean about them. Whenever whenever anyone else says that they're a streamer, just go, uh-huh, yeah, sure. Yeah, no, totally, of course. Of course, no, d definitely. That's a really tall mushroom. That's objectively a really tall mushroom. They're simply not quimby, thus lesser. Exactly. You understand, Eve, please. You understand. I'm glad you understand. I'm glad and I'm glad that we don't have to, you know, have a talk about this. That's one really tall mushroom. Wait, hold on. Is this where I think it is? Are we are we nearing the mushroom gorge? Oh my gosh, we're definitely nearing the mushroom gorge. Other people say that they're streamers. Me. Yeah. Yeah, sure, totally. Definitely. 100%. No, no, no. I, I, me being, being sarcastic. No, 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 no. You misunderstand. I'm just, I, I'm agreeing with you. I'm saying you're right. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely 100% for sure. Yeah. No, I, I believe you. Yeah. Sure. I don't know why you're making such a big deal out of this. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm literally just saying yes to everything you're saying. Oh my gosh. And that's how you deal with people who say that they're streamers who are not me. This is- well, thanks for coming to my TED talk. Uh, this slash S means serious. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why is that the greatest thing I've heard all day? This slash S means serious. <laughs> Let's 
just ignore the, you know, slash SRS. No, no, no. This the slash S for sure means serious. Definitely. Would I lie to, about something like that? Would I would I tell an untruth to you? Would I would I say something that was not correct? No. No. I I would never. I would never say something that isn't correct. If it looks like I've said something that isn't correct, um no. The the universe just hasn't hasn't adjusted itself to uh to, you know, make whatever I say correct yet. It'll happen. I make a statement and even if it isn't right, the universe will just, you know, and then suddenly it's correct. I don't, you know, I, I don't know why. Oh gosh, I, I, I feel like, I feel like that one TikTok audio, you know, the one's like, God made me perfect, and for why? And gosh, the, the big, big those vibes at the moment. And there we go, okay. We found the Mushroom Gorge. Yeah, so this may be... This may not be a super feasible pathway if I have to like go this way every single time to get to the fortress. Hmm. I don't have a water bucket. I was like, maybe I just water bucket down? I don't have a water bucket. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to be sneaky and careful. Oh my gosh. You know, I realized. Wait, hold on. <gasps> I have blaze rods. I can make an ender chest. <gasps> That's something I didn't even consider. MLG boat. Oh, oh, I could have MLG boated. I do not trust myself with MLG boating. Like I can sort of, you know, I, I can sort of do it, but I've only ever practiced over water. So I'm not sure, I'm not sure how it would go. But yeah, I can make an ender chest. I was so so focused on the ability to make potions that for a second I forgot the ender chests are real. The ender chests are real and true and um, are something that I've been wanting for a long time. Uh, now you get in the boat and row off the cliff. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. I see. Mm. Yeah, that probably would have been that probably would have been the the, the, the the way to do it. That pro that yeah, that, that would have been the, the way to do it. I could also bed clutch. <laughs> I just wait for nighttime and then I and I just bed clutch. Here's the thing, I want to try doing more like crazy clutches MLG type stuff. But the issue with that is that I don't want to practice it in my hardcore world. Because that sounds like a great way to just perish. Um, but, but you know, but at, but at the same time I want to practice crazy clutches, you know? It's- I, I live in a constant- a, a constant state of wanting to do thing, but I- mostly spend time in hardcore you know i just like one of these days i'll probably just get you know get crazy riled up enough to commit to the bit and uh and try for an mlg and then i will die <laughs> and then i will be sad that i you know, was that i committed to the bit and went for the crazy mlg so you know it, it, I, i'm kind of in a build the clutch place with a platform of hay Maybe. Maybe. Perhaps. I feel like that kind of takes away a little bit of the... A, a, a little bit of the, you know, cool factor, I guess. It's not, not practicing clutches in, a, in an unsafe environment. Alright, well, my cats are set up because they're good kitties. Because they're good kitty 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 cats. Um, so it is time to empty my inventory! Oh my gosh, chat, it's empty my inventory time. This is th this is the best time. Wow. I, I feel like I'm about to start singing the cleanup song, you know. Uh, but it's going to be like, everybody, uh, empty your inventory. 
Inventory, inventory, everybody empty your inventory. Uh, empty that inventory. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I'm going to need to start getting a separate horse armor chest pretty, uh, barrel pretty soon. My left click has been doing some weird things. Sometimes I have to like really click it to make it happen. There's my deep slate box. And basalt goes in here. And then um, name tags go in here. Or I could just use the name tag, but name tags go in there for now because they do. Doors do go in here. Okay, I was like, I don't see any doors, but they were right there. Like, where are the doors? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, where are the doors? Science, uh, uh, science explain, where are the doors? Where have they gone? Just waiting to the free the end. You'll have shulker boxes and infinite inventory space. Gosh, I cannot wait for shulker boxes. I've said so many times, like, man, I just, uh, I, I just miss shulker boxes. I just miss them so much. I am so ready to have them back. I'm, I'm so, so ready to have them. Can I just drop my water bucket, please, and then move my boat around? Okay, but, but, but. It is, it is ender chest time. It is ender chest moment. This is actually, like, the biggest development of the day. Alright. So we've got one of these. Well, I only wanted one. Okay, we got one of these. We got two of these, but, you know, can't really help that. And we get one of these, and then, and then, and then, and then, I forgot to pick up more obsidian. And then, eh, let, me, let, me, let me pick things up, please. I need a new mouse. And then we get one of these. Eee! Oh, I'm, I, I want I to, I know there's nothing in it. I just want to open it. Hey! <laughs> Look at all that space! Look at all that mobile space that I can pick up and take around with me. This is gonna, like, drastically increase the amount of time I can spend in the nether. This is gonna make it just so much easier to carry your resources around. Whew! That's a good, that is a good feeling. This does mean that I think I'm going to start carrying my silk touch pickaxe in my second slot and yeah i think we're going to have my three mainstay tools right there whoo i highly recommend making two i mean you're right you're right I, you're you're not wrong is the thing about that funny funny little story is that you're not you're not incorrect no break with me to the fortune of catch pickaxes. Yeah. I mean, and it's also just nice to have, like, a stationary um, the ender chest so that, you know, if you ever want to... If, if you ever want... You know, if you ever want... You ever wanted, kid? I need to find a good place to put it, though. For now, I can just put it in my workroom. I think I'd like to move it eventually. But for now, it can just sit right there. That's kind of cute, actually. That's, that's kind of darling. One to... One stationary, one to have. Yeah. I might eventually make more so I can just, you know, have, like, an amount in my inventory so that I will always go to the same spot. Um, but who knows? Who knows, who knows, who knows? So then... The other, the other really, really big thing is that I can make potions now. I don't have any potions I, like, desperately want to make, I guess. I mean, unless I want to make some more just basic fire res. Oh my gosh, I should, I should make some, like, long fire res. Plus, it's, um, it's redstone that makes it go longer. Let's just take a little trip down to the spot. Which spot? The the frozen village. That's what the word I'm looking for. 
I only have one glass bottle. Um, do I do I have do I just, do I have do I have glass? I, I'm pretty sure I have glass. I can. Uh, I've only got two glass panes. Okay, I've got emeralds that I can trade for glass panes. Um, and you can get other side now too. Can you go only get um other side after? Certain, huh? Is there a prerequisite to um, getting other side? Because if so, that is fascinating. Do you have to like have a um? Someone's the most commonly strongholds. Oh, okay. I was gonna say it'd be really interesting if um, if, like there was a thing where you could only get uh other side after having progressed past a certain point. You are the one. Hello, friend. Don't mind me, just needed some glass. Alright. I've got everything I need. Let's head down to the Frozen Village and make some things. I'm eventually going to want my own brewing stand, but um, I'm, I'm good at the moment. Oh, I know what this means I can do. I can, I can cure zombie villagers. I can zombify my villagers. And then I can, you know, uh, and then I can say, you're cured, you're free. Oh yeah, okay, 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 okay. I was like, there's some reason why I was super excited to get potions. It's because I want to zombify villagers. Which, probably I should not just zombify all of my villagers. I mean, there's a chance that they could die, but like, I could zombify some of my villagers. Like, um... Like cartographers and libra and like a new librarian or something, so that I can um, get some some glass trading happening. You know, cool glass trades. The farmers, I can zombify the farmers to get more favorable melon trades. That would be pretty pog. Hey Jimbo. Hey bud. But yeah. Okay, so I know I found an igloo somewhere, and I could probably steal the brewing stand from there. Unless I already stole the brewing stand from there. I don't remember if I stole the brewing stand. Um, that's really awkward. But there's a brewing stand right here. I do that, and then I forgot to make some blaze powder. Let's just drop one in, because that should be sufficient for the moment. I don't have nether wart! I forgot to look for nether wart. I, like the foolish, foolish person that I am, forgot to get nether wart. I was at the fortress. I was like, what do I need from here? Not that many things, right? I can get nether wart! Uh, this is fine. This is fine. You don't need it for weakness. I was gonna make some fire res. I was gonna make some long fire res so that I didn't have to worry about, you know, it being short and not having fire res. Uh, how do you make a we weakness potion? You just, you need like blaze powder and, um, Spy spider eye? Fermented spider eye? Weakness potion Minecraft. This is so sad. This is this is so sad. This is so so unfortunate. But yeah, I, I could just make some weakness potions. Oh well that's Sugar brown mushroom and spider eye. Yeah, we can start by making strength potions. There we are. It's nighttime outside, isn't it? Yep, we sleep. Getting fermented. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make a trip all the way back up. So that you know it it would probably be good to um to like move a brewing stand. But um That was not right. That was that was not right. I did not do that correctly. I did not do that correctly. This is big rip. 
Huh. I've done something wrong. But I can't remember what. I needed to do the fermented spider eye first. You lose that fuel when you break it. Yeah, and I don't want to break. I don't want to lose the. I don't want the cleric to not have it. I was supposed to do the fermented spider eye first. This is okay. I still have two blaze rods, so you know I could um. I could keep working with that. I I could just do some things, but. Uh, there may be another in the village. No, I've I've looked around. This is the only cleric there's. There might be one in this village over here, but I'm actually not certain about that. My next bet would be to go to the igloo that I found and pick up the brewing stand from there. Because, you know, igloo pog. But, um, yeah. So, uh, I was supposed to do the fermented spire first. I was thinking like um, the, the thing where you um, flip a potion to give it the opposite effect. I thought you did that with potions of strength to make potions of weakness, but I was wrong. I was wrong and incorrect. Like, I do still have like four blaze powder theoretically. Hmm. You know what? Maybe, maybe we... Maybe we leave that where it is, perhaps? And I, I wanted to make a potion, but I, I don't know that potion of weakness is like the first one I want to make. Although, at the same time, making potion of weakness could be very pog and I just like steal a zombie from somewhere and then, and then, you know, and then zombify the villager. I didn't want to start with potions of weakness, but I think that may be what we've got. So I'm just gonna make a quick trip back over to, um, I'm just gonna make a quick trip back over to my village. And we're gonna pick up a fermented spider eye and we're gonna make a potion of weakness. And it's gonna be great because, you know, the, the most important thing is that you know, potion making was done today because that was the, that was a big step. That was going to be like a big deal. I mean, alternatively, I could like make eyes of ender, but uh, I don't think I'm ready to go on a fortress hunt yet. Which I can make sure I'm not a fool. I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure that I I'm fairly certain from what I looked at that if you do a fermented spider eye into into bottles of water, it makes the potion of weakness. I'm pretty certain. I'm pretty certain. I have wasted a blaze powder on this because I didn't bother checking first. But I don't think we need to talk about that. I don't I don't, I don't think we need to discuss that. Listen, once I once I get like more more better things about exploring fortress, blaze powder shouldn't be a problem. It's just that there's relative scarcity at the moment. Poison you need another wart for? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Good to know. All right, let me just snatch some sugar from the sugar cane. I think all of my, um, I think all of my brown mushrooms are inside, as well as my spider eyes. So you know, we're 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 chilling, we're popping off, we're doing great. Okay. Let's make sure to drop that off and also the redstone because, um, yeah. Then get the brown mushroom and also a spider eye. The spider. I believe it's this, this, and this. All right, fermented spider eye. I can reuse the potion bottles down in the frozen village if I just, you know, drink the mundane potion and then, um, and then refill them. And I'm pretty sure that drinking mundane potion isn't dangerous. I'm pretty sure that drinking mundane potion isn't dangerous. Hey chat, uh, do you guys know if drinking mundane potion is dangerous? Do you know if that's maybe something that I need to watch out for? Because, um, big rip. Okay, so let's let's talk potions in general. One of the reasons why I've been so excited to have potions is because that opens up some more opportunities for me 
um, with things like, you know, exploring ocean monuments and, um, you know, eventually going to the end and fighting and stuff because I think having potions on hand would make me much feel much better about that. Um, I could pull out the boat, but I feel like every time I pull out the boat, I get worried that I'm going to like careen off of the edge of the world and into the abyss beyond. So we're, we're going to give that a sec. Whoop. Although it would be much faster if I just pulled out the boat. It would be faster if I pulled out the boat, but there would be the visceral terror. So what's more worth it to me? Greater speed and movement or lack of being afraid? That's a philosophical dilemma for the ages. Mm, I'm already here. I'm already here. We're... Yeah, no, we, we good, we good. Let's find out if Mundane Potion is gonna kill me! Maybe I should put more thought into this. Huh. Um, I don't think it should. Oh gosh, imagine if it had been like an insta-kill. Imagine if Mundane Potion was like the most dangerous thing in all of Minecraft. <sighs> adrenaline, yeah. Big adrenaline moment there. Sorry, bud, no trading glass bottles today. And let's just find a little river and, um. Can I? There we are. Alright, the glass bottles are filled again. We're good, we're good, we're good. Adrenaline on the way back. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about adrenaline of drinking the potion. And I was like, woo! We can do adrenaline on the way back. We can get our little adrenaline spike. Alright. 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 Okay. Yes. Hey! Potions of weakness! That's good, that's good. We got them, we got what we came here for. I need to use up all of this blaze powder at some point. I do want to go back to the igloo and get the brewing stand at some point because, you know, going all the way back down to here for potions is kind of obnoxious. Um, but I don't want to go off on a trek to find the igloo um, at this moment, so that's gonna be, that's gonna be a future Quimby issue. Oh, you're right. It needs to be splash. I don't have gunpowder on hand. I'd have to... <laughs> I'd have to... Oh no, I would have to go wait for... I'd go back up and come back down again. How close are we to nighttime? How... Is, it, is the sun gonna set soon? Because if so, I could just wait here for nighttime and then kill a creeper and get some things. Welcome to today's episode of Quimby Doesn't Remember How Potions Work. Listen, I never did a ton with potions on Mayor's Paradise. And it's all and it's been a while since I've done even that. I don't think I can be blamed for um having a rough go of it. How close do you think we are to nighttime? Does it tell me? Does it tell me what time of day it is? Um I know that's day 360. Oh hey, we've passed a year in game. That's cool. But does it tell me what time of day it is? What time what time of day are you? Where are we? What is happening? What what time of day is it? Tell me, oh frosted sky of of uh, snow. What day is it? What day is it? What what's happening? Who are you? What is this? And that's how I feel about that. Um, I could also like look for a cave or something. See if there's any creepers there. There's some dark space over there. Maybe a creeper has spawned in there. And okay, hot take. Okay, it is getting close to nighttime actually. It is getting close to nighttime. So, where is sun? Sun is no more. Sun is no longer. No more sun. We're getting to close to nighttime. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit my cats down inside somewhere so that when the nighttime actually hits, they're not gonna be in any danger. 
It's been raining. I've been denied knowledge by game. I know, right? How impolite. The game really said no knowledge. Okay, come on inside. Alright, now you sit there and come on. Jimbo. Hey, little himbo man. Come on in. Oh, no. Come on, kitty kitty. Oh, there we go. That's my good boy. <sighs> Cats, you know. You know how they be sometimes? Alright. And now... We wait. We're gonna hang out near the iron golem so that, you know, other mobs are gonna get taken care of. But we are on the lookout for creepers. We are looking for the creepy lads. Hey, bud. This is kind of magical. This is kind of magical. Okay, there's a zombie. Mobs have started spawning. I have to go a bit further afield to find a creeper though. Okay, that's a stray. We want to watch out for the strays. Where's a creeper? Come on. Gimme, give gimme, give the gimme, gimme, gimme a creeper after midnight. Sorry, that was not- that was not a good singing voice. Gimme, gimme, gimme a creeper after midnight Won't somebody come and try to blow up this house? Watch every other mob spawn, I know. I'm so ready for it. Gimme, gimme, gimme a creeper after midnight Lighten up the darkness with the force of gunpowder I did I know that was- uh, the lyrics are not happening well. Ooh. Okay, so I know that I only need one, but like, I don't want to go over there while there's another creeper. Going over there while there's another creeper? Certified all man moment. Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's enough of that. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, yeah, you, sure, you, you can stand up, you can stand up, but I'm just gonna sleep. Just sleepy times. All right. Um, I mean, obviously we still need to uh, make sure that it's not too dangerous out here in the morning. I did let mobs spawn, which I don't usually do. So let's just make a quick little sweep. Lighting up the darkness with the. Da, ba, ba, ba. Gimme, gimme, gimme a man, a man after midnight. Big Abba hours out here. Big, big Abba. That's what Big Abba wants you to think. What does Big Abba want you to think? I don't know. You tell me. I don't think I'm gonna run into powder snow here. I don't think we're high enough for it. But, you know, watch as I do, and then I die because that sounds like something that I would do. All right, well, we got him. We got the goods, got the stuff. Um, no major property damage has occurred. So with that, with, with not much further to, further ado, it's time to splash it, uh, splash up these potions. Not, not actually splash these potions yet, but get them splashied. Splash, boys, let's go. I'm gonna drink some water, cause hydration. Mm, water. There we are, all right. I've got me my splash weakness potions. So that's great, that's cool. And now that it has been nighttime, um, I'm definitively unable to get another zombie to spawn to zombify my villagers until another day. So I 
think we're gonna take all this back up to my village and then we are going to probably leave that. Oh, and we are gonna ice boat because I promised. I said that we would, I said we would on the way back. Pick up. What, 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 what? We're zooming, we're gliding, we're making it. I'm going across the snow because. What? 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 And I got smacked by my cats. Okay, they're just gonna keep smacking me now. Okay, alright, alright. They've made it clear it's time to get out. Big ice boat moments. Big, big zooms. You know? Big zooms. Zooms, but. but large. But. But, but big zoom. Big zooms. You know, chat, today was a productive day. Maybe it went a little differently than how I expected it to, but, you know. Good times. Good times out here. We've been, we've been vibing, we've been popping off. I made some potions, I've got some blaze rods. So ultimately, I, I think despite all the twists and turns that we went through, especially in that last potion making bit, I think today can be called a success. Not to mention, I have the location of a fortress now, so I can continue to, you know, get things from it. Um, we've got, Plans in the future. Plans to. Um, oh, sorry, sorry, Jimbo. I just need to get this barrel. We've got plans to get some optimized trades from trading with the villagers. And yeah, that's pretty nice. All right. All right, all right. Let's go. Let's go for Pharaoh. I kind of want to end in this little spot right here because I feel like it's it's cute and I don't spend enough time here. But let's go ahead and hop into five for a little wave. Um, just, just a little goodbye from me in, in the Minecrafts. Big waves, big, big goodbyes. I don't want to hit my cat, so I always tilt my camera way up here. Um, big waves. All right, I'm gonna put you on the frog screen, and we are going to turn on some jazz. All right, so thanks much for coming today, everyone. Um, got some, we got some stuff done, and that was very cool. That was very cool in Pog. Oh yes, thank you, thank you for the applause. Thanks everyone for coming along and vibing. Um, I will be back tomorrow. I stream Monday through Saturday, starting at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Um, but uh, next uh, tomorrow is going to be um, I'm thinking I'm thinking words. Portal two tomorrow is going to be Portal two. So if you've got Portal two chambers, uh, make sure to send those in. All right, now I'm looking for someone to raid. See, I don't see anyone doing Minecraft that I know. Um, do you guys have any suggestions to read? Because I would take suggestions today. I can also just like look in the Minecraft um, category and uh, you know try and find someone. Let's see. Let's see who we can find. Um. Hmm. Let's see if I can find someone else playing hardcore. Oh, oh thanks for the boop test chamber junkie. Hi. Um, h hello. I'm just about to end stream. I'm uh, doing portal tomorrow though, so gonna give your chamber another shot. Category. Sorry, was was just looking. Um. All right, Minecraft hardcore stoked. Heck yeah, heck yeah. All right, um, let's send you this person called Shady underscore X. I have no clue who they are, um, but uh, but they're playing hardcore and look cool and pog. Again, I haven't checked them out, so you know, don't know if they're Pog, but if they are, please consider maybe dropping a follow, sticking around for a bit, just saying hello. How's your day last Friday? Oh, it ended up, it ended up okay. Um, 
I, it was pretty stressful setting things up, but once the show actually started, then things ran pretty smoothly. Because it was, it was mainly the setup section that we were worried about. We had some people, like, call out last minute and had to, like, scramble to find out who was gonna do what, but it was okay. We're fine. We're fine. Um, so here, let me go ahead and get that raid started. But yeah, good, good news. Good times. Um... Oh, they've got followers and subscriber only chat. Gosh, I hate it when they do that. <sighs> okay, well they, they okay, we're we're not gonna do that then. We are we're not gonna do that. Well, 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 well. Um, let's try this person. Uh, they are playing a 119 hardcore world a new hardcore world, so Watches they're also going to have subscriber follower only chat and it's gonna it's gonna be terrible. Oh, oh okay, okay, this person seems cool. Um okay guys, uh have an absolutely lovely rest of your day. Um I will be back tomorrow, like I said, doing doing some portal. But um for now, yeah, just have have good times. Be cool and pog and neat and I'll see you later. Yeah, bye bye. <laughs>